Hello, Leo, and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy, and I am so happy you're here with me today. This is your money, career, and finance reading for the next four weeks. So we're going to concentrate on your incoming energies. I'm going to do the uh, tarot cards to clarify the energies. We're going to do some um, money oracle cards, spirit and angel cards, and then we're going to end with your uh, angel number and the affirmation that is attached to that angel number. And it does help to tie everything together as well. Now, this is our general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you find only parts of it resonate, that's fine. And if you don't find it resonates at all, that's okay too. Please also check out your rising and moon sign. Now, I've already meditated and prepared the cards for your reading. So let's cleanse the space together. Now, we're going to do that by ringing the bell. So you're going to hear a loud bell sound now. All right, Leo. Okay, so let's get right into your energies. Let's find out what the energy is surrounding you for money, career, and finance for the next four weeks. What are the major influences as we move through the next four weeks for career, money, and finance? This is for Leo. All right. Okay, so we are going to start with the bottom of the deck and then we're going to go from there. We've got round and round energy number 25. So feeling like things are, it's just like what it says, going round and round. It's like being on a merry-go-round and it's just, you know, you're not exactly sure when to get off. It's like, I want to get off of this merry-go-round. I'm tired of things just kind of going in the same direction all the time. I want some change. And number 30, TikTok, it's all about timing, right? I mean, sometimes we have this round and round energy because it allows us time to reflect on the things that we need to do to make changes in our life. TikTok is all about expansion. Uh, number 30, it's all about divine timing, that sometimes we have to have a little bit of patience and perseverance um, because, again, cycles in life happen for a reason. And and it's telling you number 32, living in the here and now. You know, we can't, just, certainly we can't live in the past. We have to release the past. We, as much as we have to plan for our future, we have to make sure that we are meeting the needs of the here and now. And, you know, and again, it, it's, um, it's really trying, you're really diligently trying to deal with this round and round energy and really trying to figure out what it is you need to break that cycle. So let's get right into your energies, Leo. Again, this is for career, money, and finance. So number 16, Again, interesting enough, number 25, round and round energy. 25 is the number seven in numerology. And then all that glitters, number 16 is also the number seven in numerology. So it's really reflecting upon the things in life. I think you're in a round and round energy because you're looking at all of the things that glitter, all the things that look successful, all the things that look gold. But really, when you take the mask off and you really look at it, for full face value, you realize that, you know what, not everything that glitters is gold and not everything, you know, is, um, you know, maybe I, maybe sometimes we put so much importance on the monetary things that we forget about the other aspects of our life. So I think that you're really going through a whole deep reflection right now about the things that you feel are abundant to you and that you feel are going to make you happy as you move towards your financial, you know, as you're moving towards planning your finances and really trying to figure out where, you know, long-term where it is you want to be. Number five, orphaned. There's changes coming into play here. You know, you've been feeling a little left out in the cold. You've been feeling a little bit, you know, again, you've been feeling that little bit of round and round energy and you've been having the patience, you know, really you've been very diligent with the patience to try and, you know, allow things to take their course. But you know what? Kind of enough is enough. You're ready for some change. You no longer want to feel this sense or lack of... Um, emotionally you want to start feeling back in that positive energy and you are going to get that because the, you've got a support system around you number 34 again 34 and number seven again we've got a lot of sevens here seven 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 a lot of reflection coming into play for you as we move through the next four weeks for your career money and finance a leg up is all about a support system so somebody is there to help you you're not you don't need to feel alone because there is a support system we just have to figure out what that connection is how they're reaching out to you and what is going to come of it all 
And then, you know what? This is totally you. Go the distance. Leo, you are ready to go the distance. Number 47, that is the number 11. Again, that's the gateway, the pathway to your happiness and to your abundance. You are ready to go to the finish line. You are going to figure out how to release this round and round energy. You know that it might take some time and some patience on your part, but you realize that going the distance and finish and that finish line might not be everything that's glittery. Maybe it is something that is going to make you feel more full, more emotionally abundant as well. And you're starting to realize that you don't have to go the distance on your own, that you do have a support system. Now, whether that is physically somebody in your life, it could be a boss, a mentor, a friend, um, but it's somebody who wants the same financial, has the same financial goals for you. They want to set you up for success. So again, this, because this is a money and career uh, reading. So let's get right into your ener uh, your tarot energies. Let's clarify these energies, starting with the all that glitters. Now, let's keep in mind on the 21st of June, we do have a full moon in, in Capricorn. So, you know, that for you, Leo, that's all about productivity, efficiency, and speed. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really important that you put all those things together, right? I mean, this is very important to you. You really are ambitious during this time. So let's find out what this all that glitters. What would you like to share with us, Spirit Angels Guides, to clarify this all that glitters? All right. Okay, let's see here. Wow, you've got interesting, a lot of emotions. And I think that comes with that next card being orphaned. There's a lot of emotions coming into play here. Queen of Cups could be your energy. It is watery energy. So water signs being Pisces. Um, Scorpio and Cancer. Now we are moving into Cancer month as well, so there might be more watery energy coming into play for you too, Leo. But it is all about the emotions. The Queen of Cups is very much about honesty. She is very nurturing, extremely intuitive. She really, um, everything is done from a heart's perspective. Um, so your emotions overflowing at this time. And again, with that, all that glitters again, emotionally, you might be looking at things from different perspectives, trying to figure out what it is that you know you think is going to provide you or give you that sense of uh, not only emotional abundance but financial abundance as well five of wands there's a little bit of conflict here so again there could be again you could that conflict you could have internally you're conflicting with the things that your heart wants and the things that you physically want and that's where this all that glitters comes into play so you know you could be feeling a little bit of uh, a little bit of conflict internally but there is a message this page of cups is a new message coming page of cups again being watery energy as well um, i believe that there's transformations and this is a message coming about some sort of creative endeavors creative ventures that are coming into play for you something that's going to open up an, a sense of emotional abundance for you i think that it's it's opportunities that are coming into play that are not only going to meet financial means, but they're going to meet, meet those emotional needs as well. Um, but it is definitely something you're conflicting with because you want to release this energy of feeling, you know, feeling a little bit of out of sorts, emotionally withdrawn. There is a celebration coming into play, three of cups, more water energy, but this is a, this is definitely, you know, you are overcoming whatever conflicts there are. Those conflicts about how you see um, your financial progress up to now, because we you know we were talking about, they were talking about the here and now. That here and now is, you know, looking at everything from your perspective now, feeling that round and round energy because you feel as if I can't seem to, you know, I can't seem to break away to, you know, move in a new direction. But it looks as if there is some new emotional support that's coming into play for you. Messages are coming, new creative ventures are coming, and it's bringing you a sense of celebration. So you will be feeling a weight lifted and you are going to feel like it's time to celebrate something. So let's find out with this number five orphaned. Let's find out why you're feeling a little bit emotionally withdrawn. There's opportunities. A lot of people are getting these opportunities coming into play. The Two of Pentacles has been predominant in a lot of readings. Let's see. You're going through major transformation, Leo. All right. Number two, Two of Pentacles. There's a little bit of turbulent waters because I think that you're juggling things a little bit right now. I think that you, you know, I know, I think you really are confident and you really know exactly where it is you want to go. I think you know 
Um, you are feeling inspired to make some in improvements in your daily routine. And I think it's causing you to have to juggle things a little bit. Um, that ship is wanting to come in, but the waters are just a little bit turbulent right now. That round and round energy, we have to figure out how to break that cycle so that we can get that ship to come in. So you might have a couple of obstacles that you're kind of emotionally going through at this time. And it could have something to do with opportunities that are being offered, or you could be trying to juggle two different means of, um, means of work right now. Um, meaning maybe you're in between jobs. Maybe you're working two jobs. Maybe you are juggling like because you want to apply for a new position. And again, that's that ship that's coming in, but there's some things that you've got to clear up before you can make that decision. The nice thing about this card is you can see that there's the rainbow. So after any obstacle or challenge, there is a rainbow. If you've been feeling a little bit emotionally out of sorts, that rainbow is coming into play to let you know that the wait is, is coming to an end. This is all coming to a closure for you. You are learning how to blend your world harmoniously together. So if you've been juggling things at home and juggling things at work to try and make things better, emotionally that's put a lot of stress on you, but you're, you know, that is starting to come to a close as well. And again, that could be around the 21st of June when we have the full moon in Capricorn. So temperance, this is a major arcana card. This is, represents Sagittarius energy. So fiery energy, Leo, it's, it's definitely, you are fiery energy as well. Uh, number 14, um, again, this is all about peace and harmony. It's really trying to figure out that balance. It's trying to figure out that balance again with the two of pentacles, juggling things, figuring out the balance and how to blend it all together so that you don't feel emotionally withdrawn or emotionally exhausted. Now, transformation is coming into play, number 13, interesting enough. Yeah, 13, I don't know why 13 just was a significant number for some reason. Um, this is all about transformation. So those transformations are definitely coming into play. You're closing out those chapters. And that again comes with that full moon in Capricorn. Uh, this is very much Scorpio energy, uh, Pluto energy, the death card. Um, I love the death card because it is about ending cycles and beginning new cycles. It is about those transformations that we so need to take and to, to have set in our life. We have to have those moments because we don't continue want to be on that merry-go-round and not knowing exactly how to get off of it. We want to be able to set our intentions in a positive way to move forward down new paths, especially if we've been juggling things. You know, you, you want to be able you will, you want to be able to create that balance so that you can bring that happiness and that emotional fulfillment in your life as well. So transformations are going to take place. Now you're not doing this alone. You've got number 34, a leg up. Lots of sevens. Remember, seven, 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 very, very significant numbers for you. Yeah. So the nice thing is there is, there is something that's coming to a close. That round and round energy is coming to a close. I'm going to get another card. I want another one to go with this. Ten of swords and eight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. So you are ending cycles. Some things are coming to a close. Again, that feeling orphaned, feeling a little bit emotionally out of touch, maybe feeling as if, you know, do my emotional needs, are they in line with my financial needs? Well, you know what? That could be that round and round energy. Well, you're putting a close to that. And again, that comes with the, the death card number 13 transformations, closing out the cycles. So around the 21st of June, I believe you will close out cycles because you're going to set your intentions with that magician card number one. Endless possibilities, infinite possibilities are available to you and you aren't doing it alone. There is a leg up. There is somebody there to support you, whether that is a physical human being or it is your spiritual team. They're there to help guide you and you need to trust in the process because there are endings that need to take place in order for those new beginnings to open up. The magician is allowing you to have that magic within you. It's not allowing you. You have the magic within you. You are ready to set your intentions in a very positive way because you want to bring those laws of attraction and you want to bring and facilitate all that positive energy so that you can break cycles, break through those cycles that, you know, know that you are, those cycles aren't going to bring you to that, um, to that 
abundance that you're looking for. Now you are not afraid of putting in the hard work. Eight of Pentacles, you are ready and willing to put in all the hard work that you need. You're a master at what you do. You could be taking on more certificates or more um, education to further your career. Um, I believe that there is some things that are coming to a close, but there's a support system that's telling you to motivate you to move forward. You are working really hard and diligently towards all your goals. So I believe that financially, you're really, again, trying to, to you know, set things up for success. Um, for some of you, you are going to need to retreat a little bit. You're doing a lot of self-realization. And again, um, this is number uh, nine, the hermit. This is all about reflection as well. Uh, and it's really about, you know, you have a path here and it's behind you and you can't see it because the path is dark right now. You have this little lantern, but the lantern's not light enough right now to kind of lead you down the path that you need to go. So what you need to do is you need to find that light within you because when you have that light shining within you and you realize what it is that you need in order to move forward, what is the hard work that you need to put into place to set your intentions, to close out chapters that no longer serve their purpose so that you can move forward in the right path, that light within you will shine so bright, you won't even need a lantern anymore. You will be able to turn yourself around and that path will be so lit up and it's going to lead you right towards the prosperity that you're looking for. Now you're willing to go the distance. So if it takes time, it if it takes that time for you to really take a little bit of a step back, you will do that. You're going to do whatever it takes to go the distance because you can see the finish line and you're ready to uh, jump towards it. You're taking that leap of faith. All right, Eight of Cups. So in order to go the distance, you are having to emotionally walk away from something that you know was not serving its purpose. That's why transformations are taking place. You have a strength. Um, you are moving towards that moon energy. So again, I feel like there's going to be a lot of transformations taking place around the 21st of June, um, which is in the, the sign of um, Capricorn. And, you know, really is, with this moon, this full moon, uh, being in the sign Capricorn, it is associated with hard work, ambition, and discipline. And, you know, it is time to focus on your career and personal aspirations. That's what this is all about. So emotionally, you need to walk away from, you know, again, you're walking away and closing the doors on something that you know um, is just going to continue to be a round and round energy. You're ready to go the distance. You know, if going the distance means closing the door to one thing to open up a door to something new, you are ready and willing to do that. It might be challenging at first, which is the nine of wands, but you know what, Leo, you have have, um, you have uh, the strength to be able to, and you have the courage to be able to fight whatever challenges come your way. Um, no matter what the challenge, you are able to accept it with grace and dignity, and you, and it doesn't stop you from uh, from going the distance. I'm going to get one more card for Eight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Facing the challenge, facing the obstacle, and then walking away, closing the door, because you know that that is a challenge, an obstacle that no longer serves its purpose. It's a decision that you are making. Number six, the lovers. This is all about choice. This is all about decision. So you have the choice. You have the choice to either stay where you are, continue with the round and round energy, or you have the choice to go the distance, to accept the challenge. And no matter what obstacles are in your way, you're fighting that that challenge with grace, dignity, and you're putting the hard work and the effort that you need into it, you are going through a whole new self-realization that's allowing you to emotionally release anything in your life that you feel emotionally has been weighing you down. It's what's going to bring you to the finish line and you have the choice to do that. And those choices are being made available to you. And I believe that could be in the next couple of days, that choice, because that is a Gemini card and we still are in Gemini season. We don't really move to cancer season till like, I, I believe it's the 22nd of uh, June. Okay. So there are all your energies. So now let's get your, um, your, these are your making magic Oracle. So these are the Oracle cards for your career money and finance. So let's find out what those are. There we go. You got a lot. I feel like a lot of cards want to come out for you. So air energy, number 16. Work with the element of air to see the truth. Again, so truth comes with taking that time out, that nine, um, the hermit. Again, you know, when you can really feel that light shining within you, the truth will be revealed and it's really going to allow you to make the choices and decisions you need to move forward. 
you got little luxuries. Number 28. How beautiful is that? So it generates luxurious surroundings and experiences. So there's little luxuries coming into play here. You're closing out cycles. Again, that round and round energy is coming to a close. Transformations are taking place and little luxuries. Slowly but surely, things are starting to build in a very prosperous way. Time to shine. Number 32. Creates an energetic resonance for golden opportunities. So again, um, you're going the distance. You are facing challenges with, um, with your positive outlook on everything. And you're able to make decisions and choices that are going to lead you in the right direction. And that's what's creating this energetic resonance for golden opportunities. So more opportunities are coming in the way for you as we move through the next four weeks. Number five, healing. So true healing of the mind, body, body and soul. So again, a lot, of course, <clears throat> we talk about healing a lot. I, 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 and and I, I think it's a repetition. Sometimes we get tired of hearing about healing, but it is a, a natural part of life and it is a natural part of everything. Um, you know, and I think that, you know, we're always going some, through some sort of healing. Um, it can be emotional healing, financial healing, physical healing. And for you, I believe it's more emotional healing. I think that you're getting yourself in line and in tune with the whole new you, Leo. And this is why your time to shine is coming. These little luxuries are coming because you're getting yourself off the merry-go-round. You are facing the challenge and you're doing it by walking away and you are going the distance. You know you've set your goal you know you see the flag up there and it says go leo go and you are almost crossing that line you're ready to do it all right so now let's get a little bit more in depth with the uh, making magic oracle we're going to get your career money and finance let's get a little bit deeper and find out what is in store for you leo all right anything you'd like to share with us spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign Leo. There we go. And you got four of those. Yeah. All right. Expression. We're going to start with expression. You need, okay, you need work that lets you express your creative self. A lot of creative energy right in this beginning here with all of that cup energy. You got the queen of cups, the page of cups, the three of cups, celebrations. Um, you could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Again, your communications, you're very good at expressing yourself too, Leo. People are very drawn to you, you know, and uh, because you do have a very um, uplifting personality. So people are very drawn to you. So expression is very important to you. Spiritual work. So doing some inner work, which we know with the hermit energy, can help you get clear before you move on. And it's exactly, you know, there are closures coming into play here for you. But before you can move on, you have to do that inner work. You will get insights into what, what, what will work best and serve your needs. And that's what's going to help you bring to that, to that number six, the lovers, and bring you to that choice. Cutting ties. So you know that you have to leave something behind. We have the Eight of Cups and we have the Ten of Swords. You are going through transformations. You may need to leave your current position and look for something better. Ending a job doesn't mean burning bridges. Go with grace. You do have a leg up. So there is definitely a support system here. But I think there is something that there is a chapter. Cutting ties. You're cutting connections. You're cutting something that emotionally was not fulfilling you anymore and it wasn't leading you to in the path of the success that you wanted again you want to go the distance and maybe going that distance is changing your path you're building a strategy here so you need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level get the advice from someone who is already where you want to go and that could be the leg up as well so somebody there that you admire maybe a mentor somebody you know somebody you know that is going to really is out there to help celebrate the wins with you as well um, you are ov overcoming those obstacles and challenges you're cutting the ties and you're moving forward moving forward in a positive direction so now let's get your fortune oracle. Let's find out what your fortune oracle is. Oh yeah, I wanted to come out quickly. Let's see if there's anything else for you. Beautiful sign, Leo. I'm going to do one more round. I believe there could be one more. One more card. All right, interesting. And you got snake and there is a snake in with the hermit as well. You know what? I'm going to read that one first. It says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Okay, so you are being guided towards healing and you are being guided towards a better path. You just have to be careful. And that's just a warning. It's okay. Sometimes we have to be careful, but your intuition and healing powers are going to guide you. So remember, trust in your inner guidance. Trust in all of that. 
And then you got fire. Well, you are fire, Leo. So number 10, let go of emotional upheaval, which we have here with the orphaned card. You are letting go because of the eight of cups and embrace the renewal of the present. The present, the here and now. The renewal is taking place now. So you know what? Trust in your intuition, trust in the process, trust in the healing powers, trust in the transformations. Number 10, closing of cycles, beginning of new cycles. Nice energy. All right, and let's get your animal spirit card. Let's find out what your animal spirit card is. This is again just for your financial reading for the next four weeks. All right. And you got the squirrel. You're always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Absolutely. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Go the distance. Make a plan. Plan a strategy for the future and life will give you all you need. Oh my goodness. If, and one card could tie up this whole reading. It definitely is this one. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. Now let's close out your reading with your angel uh, number and the affirmation attached to it. So spirit, angels, guides, this is your money, career, finance reading, Leo, for the next four weeks. What would you like to share? Look at this great shift. See transformations. Lots of shifts are taking place. 1122, two masterful numbers. Keep that in mind. Very, very important. Great shift. Personal growth. Absolutely. With that hermit card. Spiritual development and manifesting goals. That's your magician card. Um, oneness, connection, and completion. Ten of swords. Completing cycles. Wow. First, focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts. Then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new. So many positive shifts are in store for you. The world around you is changing in favor of your intentions. Wow, any combinations of 1122 are definitely auspicious for you as well as the number seven. You got three sevens in here as well, 777. Seven, seven. So please keep those in mind. 1122, especially powerful, great shifts, great transformations coming into play. I hope that you found some meaning in this reading today, Leo. And if you did, even if just parts of this resonate with you, please leave comments because I do love to read them. Um, and it does mean a lot to me. I really feel your, um, your energies coming through. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate all the love and support. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.